Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an all new frame from SpeedyB. Now, if you don't know this, SpeedyB is basically run cam. So with that being said, a quick word from our sponsor and let's have a closer look at this. The sponsor of today's video is PCBWay. If you have any projects that you want to get done and or assembled, then PCBWay is going to be a great choice. I've been using them for the past couple years and by far one of the best services I've used, whether you're a hobbyist and or professional alike. So definitely check the link down below so first of all this is a 5 inch fpv freestyle frame with a top mount battery layout however you can also get away with doing a bottom mount if you wanted to if you're not running a 20 by 20 setup or you could possibly still get a battery strap to go through there however you might need a little anti-slip pad down here in order to keep that in place that's if you wanted to do that there is something pretty interesting on this frame that i haven't seen anywhere else and it took a while to understand because what they say is it takes 19 millimeter cameras and 20 millimeter cameras However, you're like, well, how is that even possible? Well, the way they've done this is that you can actually flip these back and forth and depending on which side they are on, then it could be either 19 millimeters or 20 millimeters. Now, if we have a closer look here, we could actually get to see that. Now, if you see the 19 millimeter part outside right here where it says 19 millimeter, that means it'll fit a 19 millimeter. Now, if we flip these over, for example, if we take this, put it here and take this one and put it right there, then if you take a closer look on the inside, it'll actually say 20 millimeter camera. So you can actually mix and match those. So whatever number it's stating on the outside part, that's the size of the camera that's going to fit, which is really cool. So now let's go into the mounting solution and also the arms. Now the, the overall quadcopter is very rigid and it's coming in at 123 grams, which is pretty good. Most of these frames are usually anywhere between 115 to 130 to even 135. So it's really nice that it's in that sweet spot mark basically right in the middle between those two so that's not bad at all and the arms are interchangeable so in case if you crash you could easily go ahead and replace those without having to worry about much and we do have self-locking nuts which is really great to see especially if you're paying 60 bucks for this now if we look at the bottom plate it's just a one full piece bottom plate now if we look at the mounting solutions you can tell we have a 20 by 20 30 by 30 and in the back we also do have 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 However, you'd be like, well, where the hell is the 20 by 20? Well, it's these slits right here that would be considered 20 by 20. And this allows you to move whatever stack it is back and forth to in order to adjust uh, space if you needed to, if you just needed more space that way or more space this way, you could easily do that. So it's all this thing can also run the default DJI compatible uh, unit, the air unit, not the Cadex Vista. However, you will need some 3D printed parts to go along with that. Now, another really nice touch, which can be annoying for most frames if you've built quite a few in your lifetime which would be the xt60 on such a frame sometimes you know it's just it's just a nightmare sometimes you have to run them through the back here but it's really nice they've included this 3d printed part which i usually find on thingiverse and i do these things for my other quadcopter but it's really nice that it's included here and it fits right onto the standoff so you don't have to worry about the propeller chopping off the uh, XC60 anytime soon. Now this 3D printed part was also provided along with four of these antenna mounts. I, I usually recommend to cut like half or maybe three quarters because like this uh, they're more likely to pop off or break even. So I usually like to shorten these out a bit. They give you four of these so you have plenty to go and they also do give us a nice little fat battery strap. Uh, which seems to be of good quality and it is to be expected here. Now those, on the website it says it weighs 119 grams. It could possibly weigh 119 grams if we remove the 3D printed parts here and possibly this anti-slip uh, sticker here. If we remove, maybe we could hit 119 grams there. Now, if we look at the top plate, the top plate is two millimeters thick. I wish it was a little bit thicker than that, probably around three millimeters, but that's totally fine. Now the arms are five millimeters, which is the it's a pretty good standard here and everything else is roughly uh, just two millimeters so everything is two millimeters other than the arms here which is um it's good but i would have always preferred the bottom plate to be at least three or even the top plate to be at least three millimeters but we do have a lot of uh support up here uh with these fat standoffs so you know th there isn't that much space like some quadcopters nowadays would have a standoff here and a standoff here and in a pretty hard crash you could probably crack this whole thing down but it's really rare that we do get to see those or they will probably be just pushed back a little bit more so you have huge amount of space here and it kind of reduces the overall structure and could crack but like this i think it's it's rigid enough however the bottom plate i would have still preferred to see three millimeters and well that's really it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video everything's linked down below and we will be building this in the upcoming days along with all of its uh components that are provided by speedy so we'll check out how that's going to play out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace